now let's have a look at some functions that can allow us to manipulate data within a hash and to get the most out of our hashes. One thing we can do would be to remove an element from our hash. Now when we're looking at arrays, the different functions that we use such as pop and shift that took elements away from the array worked in a certain way because of the numeric indexes of the arrays and the fact that it mattered very much whether we were taking from the beginning or from the end because all the other elements had to bump up to make room. With a hash, the situation is quite different. The key value pairs of each element are put in a quite an arbitrary order. So there's no need to worry about how taking out one element from the hash will affect the others. Quite simply, it won't. So all we have to do is use a very simple command delete record artists and then we put the name of the element that we want to remove. We put the name of the key in there, in this case cloaking device and that will remove the element cloaking device. Another thing that we can do with a hash is to return all the values and to put them into an array. So say we wanted to get an array, a numerically indexed array containing all the artists within our record artists hash, we can simply use the values function. What the values function does is, as its name suggests, takes all the values out of a hash and returns them in a numerically indexed array. It takes one argument, which is the hash that we want to take the values from. Let's take a look at our command prompt to see if that's doing what it should be doing. As we can see, it's taken each of the values here, and the values in this case are the artists. What if we wanted to get at the names of the records themselves, though? We use a very similar function to populate our records array. And this function is called keys. And this takes out each of the names of the keys, doesn't take the actual values of the elements themselves, just the names of the keys, and returns them as a numerically indexed array. So let's try and print out, this time, the keys. records is what I call that particular array there. So let's pop over to our command line and try that. And as you can see, each of the names of the records is output from the array that we've just created.